Question 3 from January 2003 D1 paper, and it's a linear programming question. We're going to be formulating a linear programming problem given some information. We're told the number of standard seats is x, deluxe is y, majestic is z, and we're told now that the total number of deluxe and majestic seats should be at most half the number of standard seats. Number of deluxe and majestic seats is at most half the number of standard seats. So we get that. Now I'm going to multiply this whole equation by x and just by two, sorry, and just sort it out. So we'd end up with uh, something like x minus two y minus two z is greater than or equal to zero. So all I've done there is taken everything onto one side and made made the coefficients integers as we're told to, the, to do so in the question. Now, the next part says the number of deluxe seats should be at least 10% number, the total number of seats. The total number of seats is x plus y plus z. So if the number of deluxe seats is at least 10% of the total number of seats, then we get the number of deluxe seats is at least 10% of the total number of seats. And what I'm going to do next is rearrange that. The next inequality, though, is related to this, and that is that the number of deluxe seats is at most 20%. At most means it's less than or equal to 20% of that. So we get those two inequalities. I won't write the whole thing there, but that's x plus y plus z. Now, if we multiplied all this bracket out, in fact, multiplied everything by 10 would be, would be a good idea, and whip everything onto one side, we'd get then the next inequality would be y, actually 9y. The 9y comes from multiplying everything by 10 in this top inequality and taking the 0.1, which would be 1y, over to the other side. So 9y minus x minus z is greater than or equal to 0. The next inequality is, this time we get 8y, because we get y and then subtract 2y when we, when we sort it out. So 8y minus 2x, I wish I'd taken this over to the other side now, minus 2z. Okay, I could simplify that. I'll leave it as it is for the moment now. XY. 8y minus 2x minus 2z is less than or equal to 0. That's not written the very best way. I should cancel out 2s and then whip everything over to the other side. That would be better. The number of majestic seats should be at least half the number of deluxe seats. The number of majestic seats should be at least half the number of deluxe seats. That gives us z, 2z minus y is positive. So 2z minus y is positive. I'm oh, sorry, greater than or equal to zero. That takes us to here. The total number of seats should be at least 250. So next one is x plus y plus z. Lots of inequalities here. We're not, we're not actually going to solve this problem. So x plus y plus z is at least 250. So greater than or equal to 250. Uh, and now we've just got to write the linear programming uh, profit line. Um, standard deluxe majestic seats cost 20, 26 and 36 maximize so minimize the total cost of the seat so the problem is to minimize c which equals 20x plus 26y plus 36z now as I say we're not going to solve this problem, that's not what the question is asking, it would be far too it would be actually beyond the scope of D1 to solve it, but formulate the situation as a linear programming problem, simplifying your inequalities so that all the coefficients are integers. So I'd write this a little bit neater uh, and make sure that this one's cancelled out, divided by two rather.